Very wrong. Good evening. I'd like to call this Tuesday, February 2nd, 2016, meeting Mill Middletown City Council to order. If you please stand and join me in a moment of meditation and the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Ms. Cambridge, call the roll, please. Ms. Bronston. Here. Mr. Bohannon. Here. Mr. Moon. Here. Mr. Picard. Here. Mayor Mulligan. Here. Uh, first off, we have our citizens' comments. I'd like to welcome our scouts from uh, Troop One. I'd like to invite uh, Mr. Kobe Wilder down here to, uh, I think he wants to offer a couple words. Certainly appreciate you uh, coming down to join us and work on your merit badges this evening. Good evening. If we get your names and address, please. My name is Kobe Wilder, and I live at 905 Orchard Street. Welcome. Um, my name is Andrew Bailey, and I live in 8717 Apple Ridge Court, Franklin, Ohio. Welcome. Um, I'm Cody Edwards. I live at 1607 Park Drive. Welcome. Glad you gentlemen were able to join us. Thank you. Um, Hello, my name is Kobe Wilder, and this is Andrew and Cody, and we are here to work on our communications merit badge. Thank you for allowing us to do so. Our troop has been around for 100 years, not consecutive, but you don't count that, and uh, we're having a big celebration dinner on February 14th at uh, First Presbyterian Church on Main Street. Okay. Is that it? Yes. Well, thank you. Appreciate you coming down and certainly appreciate the uh, invitation to your 100-year celebration. Look forward to uh, seeing you there and uh, uh, best wishes. And I think the troop's coming back in a couple of weeks maybe to present the colors and uh, lead us in the pledge. So thanks for your work in scouting, and uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you. And with that, uh, we can move to our city manager reports. Mr. Atkins. Uh, good evening, Mayor and City Council. I have three items on the agenda tonight. First, I'd like to alert you that we will be requesting emergency legislation at the February 16th meeting for the 2016 ODOT Irving Paving Program. Uh, this includes the resurfacing of State Route 4 from Girard to Titus and is scheduled for the summer. Uh, we had previously passed ordinance number 2015-53 as preliminary legislation. They have made some final changes uh, to the requirements of that contract. Uh, the proposed emergency legislation will be the final legislation on February 16th. Will include the city's uh, share of the cost of 224,000. <clears throat> excuse me, 224,312 dollars, and we will be asking for emergency passage so we can get it back to ODOT by March 9th and get the, uh, the uh, project underway. Uh, number two, I know we talked about at the retreat, uh, and I've talked to council about uh, the close down of TV Middletown. Uh, as part of the transition process, we are looking at some options for cities, uh, city councils. A review later in the year. Wanted to let you know we have been continuing to tape council meetings and we are putting them on our YouTube channel uh, which is linked to our web page. Uh, check this afternoon just to give you an idea of where things are right now. The December 15th City Council meeting had received 13 views on YouTube. The January 5th meeting had received 54 views on YouTube and the January 19th uh, meeting had received 42 views on YouTube. So some people are transitioning over. We'll continue to monitor that. We'll continue to listen uh, to what the public tells us as far as whether or not they need it on TV or miss it. And we'll continue to gather information for you. But I thought I'd pass along what we knew at least up to this point. Uh, third thing tonight, <clears throat> I had sent out an email earlier and uh, had gotten a couple people responded, but one to ask just briefly, uh, we saw that the golf fund has about $43,000 left after we have com completed the bonds, paid all our bills. Uh, it is truly finished money that 
uh, is no longer needed for the golf course. Uh, I have been talking with Ron Phelps in the Parks Department. We've been approached by two or three different uh, baseball leagues that would like to add uh, playing leagues to our fields. Uh, one of the problems we have is that we need more lighted fields so we could do more at night. Uh, we've gotten a quote uh, to convert another field to LED, which would be better technology. It's a more expensive to do on the front end, but they last longer, less maintenance, less electricity. Uh, the cost for that would be $92,000. Uh, I would like to get council's input on whether or not they would be open to converting that 43000 over adding uh, perhaps either general fund money or even part of the TV Middletown funny money that's not going to be used this year to go ahead and get that started this spring so that perhaps we could add some more baseball leagues for our kids this spring. Okay. Any uh, comments from council one way or the other? We will spend some time and get everything laid out for you, but I just want to make sure there wasn't any on the front. I didn't want to do the work if there was there was no interest. Hey, Doug, you, you may want to ask uh, just how many night games they anticipate. I know when I was playing ball down there it was few and far between I would just be curious what they're what telling that. me is there, is that they haven't tried to schedule because there was no capacity so that if we would add it that they would they would like to expand that mm. ability so I will I will start gathering that up we'll get with the people who have asked to, to bring leagues we'll get the data out on the on the LED lights and we'll we'll try to put it together for a package for you I just want like again we didn't want to do too much work on it if is this a Goldman I didn't hear you at Goldman I still can't hear you. I'm sorry. Is it at Goldman? Yes. Okay. Sorry. So it's softball. Correct. Okay. Correct. I'm sorry. And that's all I have, Your Honor. Thank you. Okay. All right. With that, we can move on to our consent agenda. Ms. Kang. <clears throat> For your consideration this evening, we have the approval of the City Council minutes from January 19th, 2016. To confirm personnel appointments for Barbara Bradley, Assistant Finance Director, Department of Finance. Stephen Bosom, Senior Engineer. <clears throat> Department of Public Works and Utilities, Adam Cox, Patrol Officer, Police, Department of Public Safety, Ryan Sadel, Part-Time Bus Driver, Department of Community Revitalization. To receive and file oaths of office for Nicole Hitt, Height, and Brandon Ramirez. <coughs> to announce the 2016 Council Representatives and Liaisons for Boards and Commissions as listed, the Airport Commission, Steve Bohannon, Architect Architectural Review Board, Steve Bohannon, Board of Health, Larry Mulligan, Board of Library Trustees, Dan Picard. Citizens Advisory Board, Dora Bronson. Planning Commission, Larry Mulligan and the alternate, Steve Bohannon. Convention and Visitors Bureau, Larry Mulligan. Emergency Management Agency Council, Larry Mulligan. Keep Milltown Beautiful, Larry Mulligan. Master Plan Implementation Committee, Larry Mulligan. Middletown Cemetery Board, Steve Bohannon. Middletown Moving Forward, Larry Mulligan, Dora Bronson, and the alternate is Tal Moon. Park Board, Steve Bohannon. Self Board, Dan Picard. Tax Incentive Review Committee, Dora Bronston. Warren County Municipal League, Tal Moon. Consolidated Plan Committee for the five-year block grant, Dan Picard. OKI Regional Council of Governments, Larry Mulligan and alternate Dora Bronston. And to confirm Board and Commission appointments of the Convention and Visitors Bureau of Mark Schutte. Okay. Do we have a motion for the um, approval of the issues and actions as listed on the consent agenda? Motion. Okay. Do we have a second? Second. All right, Ms. Kank, would you call the roll, please? Mr. Bohannon? Yes. Mr. Moon? Yes. Mr. Picard? Yes. Mayor Mulligan? Yes. Ms. Bronston? Yes. All right. That brings us to our council comments this evening. Start with Mr. Moon. Uh, I just uh, had two comments tonight. I got the opportunity to go down to Mayfield Elementary earlier this week and take part in the Google uh, ex exploration. Uh, Steve was there as well. It was a great experience. I want to thank Google for doing that. I also just wanted to mention uh, pass along my sympathies. Uh, Dick Slagle passed away today. Many of you probably saw that. Um, I got to know Dick over the last 15 to 20 years. He was just an incredible man. Loved Middletown. Uh, we could spend a whole night talking about everything he did that, for this community. So I, I will just end it there. Uh, I send my sympathies to, to his daughter Susan and uh, the rest of his family. Uh, Middletown is certainly a better place because he called Middletown home. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Bohannon? Thank you, Mayor. Uh, as I'd also like to pass on my condolences as well to the Slegel family. Um, as Mr. Moon had said, we did uh, attend the Google Expedition Under the Sea, which was quite a unique uh, experience at Mayfield School on Friday. 
That, uh, as they said, uh, if every one of us older folks remember the old Viewmasters that you used to put the little slides in and click with your finger, this would be considered Viewmaster on steroids. Um, it was, I mean, they took uh, cell phones basically and you put them in a cardboard box and looked to them and it's just amazing. You can just look all around, 360 degrees around you, it's just fantastic. So these kids today are getting so much more than what we were able to experience as kids. Um, also, I attended Saturday evening. We had the uh, Arts Foundation had the Mardi Gras uh, festivities at the Pendleton. That was quite entertaining and fun. Uh, Vice Mayor uh, Dora Bronson was there. Uh, let's see, and Mayor Mulligan, Mayor Mulligan was there as well. Uh, quite lively, quite a lot of music. Uh, also, previous to that Thursday night, I was uh, able to attend the Middletown Trenton Monroe Chamber of Commerce yearly awards ceremony. I want to commend. Mr. Moon, Larry Mulligan, our mayor, they're on board members uh, on the council. So all in all, it was a very good week for us, and uh, I appreciate everyone inviting me to these events. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Picard. Thank you, Mayor. I too would like to pass along my condolences to the Slagle family and wish them the best. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Ms. Bronson. Yes, sir. Uh, I'd like to extend condolences to uh, Dick Slagle. Uh, his family. Um, he was one of the mentors that uh, interviewed me when I was running for council and uh, just kind of gave me a thought-provoking session, I think. But uh, he gave me a lot of advice and I took that advice and I think that uh, many people here in town probably went to Dick on a number of issues and got advice from him. Um, I too uh, attended one of our schools, the Early Learning Center, and we had a reading on Thursday uh, to the preschoolers. So that was quite interesting. And uh, they were listening to every word that we would uh, come out of our mouth and uh, uh, really attentive. So uh, we always have fun there. Uh, I too attended the uh, Mardi Gras and the chamber and uh, the MLK gala. That was quite interesting. And uh, it was great to see a lot of people dressed up in, in such wonderful outfits. Um, the Miami uh, Free Fair uh, was last week also, and I attended that. So we have a lot going on around uh, Middletown. Miami University also has the February month of Share the Love coming up. So I would suggest we look at their calendar and find out what's going on through the month of February. And that's all I have okay. to say. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to offer uh, my thoughts and appreciation to uh, Mr. Adkins and city staff in terms of the retreat that we had. Um, I guess that was just a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. Time flies when you're having fun. But uh, certainly I thought we had a good session with uh, council. Certainly appreciate uh, council taking time to get together and uh, spend a half day on a Saturday at Houston Woods to, to go through that. But I think it uh, says that we've you know, kind of seen the, the turn in the corner. Uh, things are looking up for us as a community. Uh, certainly have a lot of work to do ahead of us, but uh, certainly appreciate uh, the uh, foresight and the work that went into preparing that and begins to lay out a plan for future uh, future work so we certainly have uh, a lot ahead of us but uh, a lot to look forward to and, and certainly work through uh, also want to uh, commend um, uh, the interviewees as well as uh, Mr. Adkins and, and the other folks involved in uh, the hiring of uh, Ms. Eke uh, in terms of economic development staff it's always good uh, to hear from uh, outsiders, and I've heard throughout the county in uh, different capacities uh, that we really attracted a great, uh, great resource uh, in in, our, in uh, Miss Eke. So, I look forward to uh, seeing her start and hit the ground running. Uh, I think we've got a, a great opportunities here to, to look forward to and do that. So, commend uh, everyone involved in that. And I know it was a group effort in terms of uh, getting input from the community as well as uh, from staff. And lastly, uh, just remind everyone uh, we're uh, have another first Friday rolling around here in uh, February. Uh, so a lot of great activities uh, happening uh, downtown and as we've heard uh, certainly a lot of great activities happening throughout the community certainly want to appreciate to uh, recognize and appreciate all the uh, volunteer effort that goes into those uh, those events uh, it's, they're very important each group and we're um, honored to uh, play a small part in attending those uh, but certainly does a lot to really improve the quality of life here in Middletown so express my appreciation to all those folks and with that we can move to our legislation for this evening Ms. Cohen thank you mayor um, there are five items of legislation this evening, uh, two or three that we're going to be asking you to treat as an emergency. Two of the emergencies are ready for action tonight. The third we're bringing in front of you um, for information and we'll bring back it to the next meeting in action. Um, before proceeding, I'll ask for a motion to waive charter requirements for two readings in 30 days to enact the following items. Resolution R-2016-04. 
in Ordinance 0 2016 02, Ordinance 0 2016 03. I'd like to make a motion to suspend the charter that requires two readings on <coughs> separate days and state that resolution R2016-04 and ordinance 2016-02 and ordinance 2016-03 be read one time only and declared emergency measures. Okay, j just to be clear, we won't be taking action on uh, 03 this evening, but- uh, No, you're not. Okay, just wanna make sure we're clear on that. Okay, all right, uh, we have a motion, we have a second? Second. Okay. Ms. Gank, would you call the roll, please? Mr. Moon? Yes. Mr. Picard? Yes. Mayor Mulligan? Yes. Mr. Brohanna? Yes. Ms. Bronstrom? Yes. Thank you. Uh, the first matter I ask you to consider is a second reading. Ordinance number 0 2016 01, an ordinance establishing a procedure for and authorizing purchases of asphalt by the city purchasing agent in 2016. We have the uh, council heard about this at the last meeting. It allows purchasing agent pur to purchase asphalt at the best available price as needed. Okay, we have a motion to adopt. So moved. A second. second, okay. Any other discussion or comments? Ms. Gank, would you call the roll, please? Mr. Picard. Yes. Mayor Mulligan. Yes. Ms. Bronstrom. Yes. Mr. Bohannon. Yes. Mr. Moon. Yes. Okay, the next matter is also a second reading. Resolution R2016-02. A resolution to make adjustments to appropriations for current expenses and other expenditures of the city of Middletown, counties of Butler and Warren, state of Ohio, for the period ending December 31st, 2016, from the Solid Waste Fund. The council also heard about this at the last mm -hmm. meeting, doing some uh, appropriation correction. Okay. Do we have a motion to adopt? So moved. Second. Okay. Any discussion or comments? Ms. Kank, would you call the roll, please? Mayor Mulligan. Yes. Ms. Bronston. Yes. <coughs> Mr. Bohanna. Yes. Mr. Moon. Yes. Mr. Picard. Yes. The third matter is the first of the emergencies, and we would ask for action on this this evening. Uh, it's resolution R2016-04, a resolution requesting the auditor of Butler County to advance to the treasurer of the city of Middletown, Ohio, taxes assessed and collected for and on behalf of the city of Middletown, Ohio, and declaring an emergency. Okay, do we have a motion to adopt? So moved. Second. Okay, Mr. Atkins. Yes, Your Honor, Butler County collects property taxes on behalf of the city of Middletown each year. <clears throat> Those collections are paid to the city in two normal installments. The city has the option to pass a resolution requesting advance payment of the property taxes, which allows us to get the money sooner. This is a resolution that we would pass every year. Uh, it's time to do that again. The request allows the city to earn interest on the funds rather than letting them sit down at the county for several months. Uh, <coughs> we anticipate that the first advance will be paid in February and passing this resolution will allow us to get that on time. Okay, any questions or comments? Okay, Ms. Gank, would you call the roll please? Ms. Bronston. Yes. Mr. Bohannon. Yes. Mr. Moon. Yes. Mr. Picard. Yes. Mayor Mulligan. Yes. The fourth matter is uh, the second emergency also asking for action this evening. Uh, ordinance 02016-02, an ordinance amending the pay and benefits ordinance, ordinance number 02015-62, uh, and declaring an emergency. Okay, do we have a motion to adopt? So moved. A second. Second. Okay, Mr. Atkins. Yes, Your Honor, the 2016 pay and benefits ordinance uh, was passed in this last year uh, and included a number of changes. Uh, we had talked about them extensively about trying to start getting people in different pay ranges to be a little more competitive. Uh, we did a whole lot of changes to a whole lot of different pay classifications with the understanding that uh, th with that many changes, there was a chance that something would be missed. There were a couple things here that we have found that we would like to correct at this time. First, the newly created Assistant Public Works Superintendent Safety Author position was left off of the list of employees who receive a uniform allowance in Section 15A. It was included in the budget, but we neglected to put it in the Pay and Benefits Ordinance. We would like to clean that up. The other two items are the police chief and the fire chief. As we've tried to start working on our department heads to improve uh, both their educational requirements and their, their reasoning to continue their education and build their skills, uh, we give a benefit, uh, a one bump pay uh, benefit to them to getting a, an, a, either a bachelor's or a master's degree that uh, is related in their field. We encourage them to get continue their education. We intended to do that also with the assistant chiefs uh, we left that off. Also, uh, Assistant Chief Snively in the fire department uh, was a little bit further. He was in a, coming out of the union, uh, gave up his overtime, and we made some concessions to him that we would give him one step 
to uh, he got a four percent raise to lose twenty nine thousand dollars in overtime, <laughs> uh, but I forgot to give him the one step raise. So this cleans all of that up, uh, puts everybody back where they need to be, and hopefully there aren't too many more of those. The total cost for the two assistant chiefs is about five thousand dollars, and I apologize for missing it. Uh, but we are asking for emergency legislation so we can get them paid back to January 1st and okay. not, not have to do any more back pay. All right. Any uh, questions or comments? Both both chiefs have bachelor's degrees, I'm assuming. Correct. Okay. Anything else? All right. Ms. Kankridge, call the roll, please. Mr. Bohannon. Yes. Mr. Moon. Yes. Mr. Picard. Yes. Mayor Mulligan. Yes. Ms. Bronston. Yes. Last matter is Ordinance 0-2016-03. An ordinance establishing a procedure for and authorizing an amendment to the contract with OR Cologne and Associates for acquisition services associated with improving Yankee Road phase three and declaring an emergency. This is the matter we ask the court, uh, we will ask the council we will consider until February 16. Okay. Mr. Atkins? Yes, Your Honor. The city previously entered to a contract uh, for the right of way acquisition services for Yankee Road, which is scheduled in 2017. Uh, O.R. Cullen was selected as a, on a qualified-based selection process uh, through ODOT. During the project scoping meeting, several parcels were identified that uh, the valuation was going to require more legal analysis than originally intended. One additional parcel was found to be affected, uh, which results in an, entire, in an additional contract fee of $20,400 uh, to uh, continue the rights-of-way acquisition. Uh, there's also another 10,000 in contingency that's being requested. Uh, one of the questions that had come up from a council member before was, did this contract modification include right-of-way acquisition? The answer to that is no. This is strictly the legal and prep work being done to uh, get the right-of-way ready to be taken forward. Okay. And we will be asking uh, for action on that in two weeks. Okay. At the next thing so we can continue to move forward. That. Okay. All right. Any questions or comments on that? Um, will there be will you be coming back to us then for purchasing of right of ways correct when they when they get further down the process they'll make offers and then the ones that don't come will move the process through yeah there's a there's a statutory process to move through to, to move that along and so how long will it take between now and whenever construction starts are we talking months of months. negotiations yes. months okay okay all right and that's all yes sure all right well thank you all have a good evening i will be in recess until our meeting on uh February 16th in these chambers. Hope everyone has a great Valentine's Day. Thank you. I'll see you then. Quick reminder, we'll have pictures.